there are so many different types of nest box out there to buy, it can be really confusing to know which one to get. But essentially there's two main types, the whole fronted nest box and the open fronted nest box. And depending on which species you're trying to attract will determine which of these boxes you use. But we're going to start with the whole fronted nest box. I'm going to show you exactly where you need to put it. So for a whole fronted nest box, placing it about two to four meters up a tree or on a wall is the perfect spot. And this will attract species like tits, sparrows and nuthatches, which feel safe on the ground away from predators. And it's also the perfect height for you to safely install it and monitor it throughout the year. The direction of the box is really important too. Facing it to either the north or the east is the best as it keeps the strongest of the sunlight and the wettest of the winds off the box. However, if you find that your box is in relative shade, it doesn't really matter so much, but always make sure that there's a clear flight line as no one likes a cluttered doorway. Open fronted nest boxes need completely the opposite conditions to the whole fronted ones. Ideally, you want to keep it below two meters and tucked away in some vegetation where it's safe from predators. These are the perfect conditions for robins, wrens and dunnocks who are going to want to use these boxes. One top tip, if you can put it in somewhere with thorns or with spiky leaves, that's the best way to deter predators getting to the nest. For most species, nest boxes of the same type shouldn't be sighted too close together, as this promotes aggressive behaviour between individuals. But for species which like to nest in loose colonies, like house sparrows and starlings, putting a few boxes in a row on a wall or under the eaves can be the perfect terrace style living that these birds want. Traditionally, most nest boxes are put up in late February or in the springtime, but actually it doesn't matter when they go up, it's never too early or too late. And putting a box up in late autumn or the winter time can be really beneficial as many birds use them as a winter roost away from the frost. If you find a bird isn't using your nest box, don't worry about it, there could be many reasons. It could be that there's plenty of other nest box for them to use or even natural tree holes that they could be using. However, if you find after several years they're still not using it, just try and move it to another suitable place and you might find that next year you have something in there. If you'd like to learn more about the My Wild City project, then visit the Avon Wildlife Trust web pages where you can find out more. And if you put up a nest box like this one, make sure you tweet it to us on hashtag MyWildCity.